Welcome back. Throughout the city, there are pockets of homeless people living on the streets. The 1960 corridor, or Cypress Creek Parkway, has become a major gathering place. Our next guest offers the comforts of home with the goal of connecting people to programs that can help them get off the streets for good. Debbie Johnson and Jody Leach from the 1960 Hope Center are joined by Martha, who visits the Hope Center. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Um, as we mentioned all throughout the show, there are various programs out there that really can concentrate on some key facets of fixing the homeless problem. You're not going to fix everything, but the key facet for you all, where's your sweet spot? Well, first, building community is really important. Listening to the stories of the people that we serve and then helping them get to the people that they need to talk to to be able to work with the problems that they are having. We have mental health experts, we have caseworkers, we have uh, classes that they can go to that can help them kind of go through the yeah. getting off the streets. That corridor, it's, it's interesting, those pockets that form, what's going mm -hmm. on there? Well, it's interesting that um, I, I view it that the people aren't homeless people, but rather brothers and sisters who are experiencing homelessness, right. right? And so they all come from different paths, you know, whether it's broken family relationships or um, medical issues that yeah. have impacted their lives and, and they need to reconnect. And so we try to find ways for them to reconnect um, through um, different means of housing or different um, ways and even for them. Like earning their New trust, jobs, right? That you can right. go get a meal, you can go get a, a hot yeah. shower. And Martha, for you, uh, there are a number of things that led you to that kind of street life. And one of them, of course, that can happen to any one of us. You battled be breast cancer before and you're, yes, you're dealing with it right now. Yes, ma'am. Well, I had became unemployed and lost my apartment and everything and was living in my car. But then it came to a point where I needed somewhere to go and I seen a couple of other people on the street and I asked them where could I get something to eat and they guided me to the Hope Center and I've been there ever since. Yeah, so you kind of come in and out so you don't really stay there, but um, you know, from day to day you're not quite sure where you're gonna sleep at night? Um, well, most of the times I'm in a tent. But I'm good because the Hope Center has helped me to acquire housing. Yeah, in fact, that, that was the good news that we wanted to share today. Because you, you've been in that in that encampment for how long? Um, it's been at least nine months. At least nine yes, months. Man. And now you've gotten word that what's going to happen in about two weeks? Uh, Martha's going to have a place to stay. She will have an apartment. And that is really exciting. Yeah, yeah. What is the thing that you are looking so forward to, Martha, having your own place? My privacy. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And like the other lady, being able to lock my door. Yeah. yeah. And safety. Yes, ma'am. safe. Wow. Okay. So the other things, like you, you said, you, you shelter people from the weather. Uh, clean restrooms, hot showers, laundry, lunch, computer lab, mail service, haircuts, clothing. These are all things that so many of us take for granted, but yes. these are the things that make you feel human. And that's, that's the thing that, that people need is that human touch. And that's the one thing that lets you know not to give up and that somebody no. cares. Yeah. All right. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Okay. Party at your house? Housewarming party? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. All right. And thank you all so much for what you, you do because you are truly on those thank front you. lines. To connect with the 1960 Hope Center, log on to 1960hopecenter.com. In closing. We hope you can connect with the organizations you saw on today's show who do some of the heavy lifting when it comes to helping our homeless community. From volunteering your time to clothing, food, or monetary donations, we always say cash is king, log on and check to see what you can do to help. As Mark Eichenbong from the Mayor's Office on Homelessness told me, it costs more to ignore a person on the streets than it does to help them. Thank you very much for joining us today and have a great day.